Real music, real interviews, real information. That's why we call it Real Gospel with the X Man. God, I want God, and if you want God, stay tuned for this dynamic interview. This is Morant Brown Clark with her latest, I Want God. Such an awesome song. This is Real Gospel. Real Gospel. Invest. I want God. All I ever wanted was God. Yeah, yeah. I don't want a form of God. I want God. I want God. All I ever, all I ever wanted was God. All I ever wanted was. Don't want to give him my want second best I want God I want to live like, like him Treat everybody, Treat everybody right. right And I want to look like him Glory! 
Real Gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. I'm honored to have the legend herself, Marette <laughs> Brown Clark. Yeah, <laughs> on Real Thank Gospel. You. Yes, how is your day going? Our day is going great. You know, it's sunny and 78 here in Maryland, so I'll have no complaints. Okay, you live in Maryland? Yeah, and we had a that. rainy weekend all weekend, but I told the people in church yesterday, I said the sun is still shining, even though it's raining, and today he made that come to pass for sure. That's right, it's always shining somewhere, right? Always. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, listen, just in case, and I, I like to do this for um for the listeners, there's always someone who just found Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior on yesterday, and so they probably have never heard of you and your legendary family. So um, if you don't mind, if you can sort of introduce yourself to those individuals. So let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Morette Brown Clark. I actually married a man named Mark Clark, and that's how I got my uh, Clark last name. I get a lot of people that uh, believe that I'm a Clark sister, but it's funny. I have a, a concert where they're coming this weekend here in Maryland, and I said I'll finally be able to dispel the rumor uh, that I'm a Clark sister, but I'm just grateful for the opportunity that people even associate me with them. That means my music ministry must be up to par. So grateful to God. I've been in the music industry now. My gosh, you said legend. I crack up because um, <laughs> I remember starting. So that's kind of crazy to me, but it's been plus 20 plus years, actually. And um, a lot of people know my music. It ain't over until God says it's over. I just want to praise you, um, sovereign God, awesome God. So the Lord has blessed me to kind of uh, sing some good songs that have stuck to people's bones. So I'm just grateful for this opportunity again to be here with you on today. Amen. Now, if you've been in the business 20 plus years, yeah, I think legends, you, you can sort yeah, of, you yeah. can use, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> this business is no joke, especially in gospel. It is so Absolutely. hard because I, for whatever reason, but it, it just is. One of your songs, if I'm not mistaken, I played it. Didn't you record a song? I can't think of it with your daughter. Or she, she yeah. said something. So she actually took over the song. The name of the song is I Am what God says I am and mm -hmm. so it started out as a duet or a call and response and then at four years old she told me I got it and I just was like okay you got it then and all I ended up doing was introducing the song and she did the rest and it, I literally uh, traveled the country and young people are still singing that song they teach them for Sunday school and at different school graduations and things like that so to know that there's a song that the young people can sing and encourage them uh, that my young person she's now in college she'll be 19 years old so uh the time has certainly gone by but great music stands the test of time it does wow i remember playing that so yes 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 so is she taking up music she you know she's got it in her back pocket let's say she's actually <laughs> a, a dance major but uh, yeah. dancing uh, star that can sing so we'll take yeah. it anyway the Lord bless it Amen, amen So let's talk about you for a little while We've, we've got the people caught up the, we, Your credentials the, we, we know the difference between you and the other <laughs> set of of, uh, of, uh, of Clarks right, 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 So right. yeah, so now we have an understanding So uh, let's talk about this song I Want God So it's um, my first release in four years um, it was released digitally, uh, and I'm just excited uh, doing it on my own uh, label, Nettie's Child Music Management, it's named after my mother. That's always kind of been my moniker for everything that I've done. It started out as a publishing company, and then it moved into a management company, and now we're putting out my music. So I'm just grateful that people are still checking for me. I had a lot of people over the last couple of years say to me, well, we're looking for new music, we're looking for new music, and something about that resonated with me, I didn't feel like it was just lip service when people saw me out and about, and um, I see now that people are even in the first days of it are gravitating to this song, uh, co-wrote it with uh, my MD, his name is Kenneth Shelton, 
Uh, he's done work for me. He's done work for Jonathan Nelson and uh, Kim Burrell, you name it. He's a super producer right here in Maryland. And he just heard my heart on the song. We were able to get it down and release it to the masses. So I'm excited. Uh, it really just kind of speaks to the heart of the matter that's always been a part. Uh, Kirk Franklin, the hymn says, says it even best. Silver and gold is cool, but I give me Jesus and that's a, that's enough for me. So it just kind of speaks to that. Amen. You know, while you were speaking, the Lord sort of spoke to me and said, you know what? People are also saying, I want good God music. You know, it just oh, seems yeah. like, yeah. Can, and so since you, you've been in the industry and you've been watching the industry and you, you work the industry from many different angles, uh, talk about what, what have you seen? Uh, are, are we coming back to putting more God back in the, as the centerpiece of our music? Have we gone too far into just sort of just um, trying to please mainstream and crossover? What, what are your thoughts? You know, um, trying to cross over is never going to, uh, you know, be the thing I like to tell people. The songs that you can look at and see that have crossed over were all gospel songs, gospel sounding songs that pointed to the cross. And so it's always been, uh, you know, the reason why we sing. It's always been never would have made it. It's always been uh, He Thought I Was Worth Saving by Anthony Brown. So it's always those songs that are unexpected uh, that resonate with uh, you know saints and sinners alike I like to say so I think that as long as people continue to stay authentic to who they are and that's kind of the key whatever God has called you to do if you stay authentic to what he's called you to do he blesses it he blows on it he breathes on it and that's how ministry doors open for you so um, I don't know that I think that uh, I think if people can find that within themselves to be content with how God made them and how God um, has allowed them to present their own ministries, then I think that that's what we see coming back to. I think you see people who authentically choir are singing choir music. People who are authentically solo artists or, or uh, sing high or sing low or like quartet music, if you stay authentic to who you are, I think that's the door that opens. And honestly, that's the what I've tried to do with my entire career and with this single, I Want God. It's really easy to look left and look right and say, well, I want to say this. Nobody's talking about this. But um, at the heart of the matter, you've got to say what he's called you to say and then that way he blesses it. Amen. Is there a temptation? I, I know that, you know, you're surrounded by godly people, but is there a temptation that comes in and sort of you, you become enticed to sort of do a different type of music. What I mean, can you speak to some people out there who have the, the gift and the anointing to sing, but, you know, that temptation comes. A record label says, hey, you know, I, I like your sound. I mean, can you right. can you help somebody, minister to somebody who might find themselves in that area? You know, fortunately, in gospel music, there's not as much of that. But I just always encourage the people that I mentor, again, you have to stay true to your sound and true to your call. And if I was speaking to somebody, which I am, I would just remind you that you, God made you unique. He put the type of voice he's given you, the type of presentation he's given you is unique to you. And if you can find that, if you can tap into that, then he, he blesses it, he breathes on it. You will spend your day trying to imitate somebody else, trying to get a run like somebody else, trying to do a presentation or ad lib like somebody else. But if you just stay true, authentically to you. My daughter, uh, we were talking about her a little bit earlier. She said to me, I, I took her out to to, to see me sing. It's been years now because she's kind of an early teenager. And she said, you know, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I'm like, okay, you know, out of the mouths of babes, what are you getting ready to say? <laughs> and she said, you know, you may not be as famous as, and she named a few artists who are big famous. She named Kirk Franklin and Mary Mary. And she said, but the people that know you you matter to them. And I think that's what all of us should want. Some people want recording careers, but God may just be calling you to worship, you know, lead ministry at your local church. And at some point, we've got to be fine with where he's called us to be and who he's called us to be. So I would encourage everybody to do that, whether that's singing, whether that's preaching, whether that's cooking, whether that's in the business world, whether that's mathematical sciences, whatever he's called you to do, um, you're well equipped to do it. If you follow after that, he, he he promises to bless you exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask and think. Amen. So what was the biggest hurdle that you had to overcome personally because 
um, you you married into a big name. I mean, so what was the thing? How did you know? Okay, this is my lane. This is what got, I'm 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 going to walk by faith. This is it. Um, I answered the call. Yes, but I think my biggest hurdle, my biggest problem, was fear. Fear of people's opinions. Fear that you know, oh, they called me to sing, but I, I don't sound like the records this day because I'm tired. Or I'm hoarse. I'm raising three kids. You know, I'm married. I have a whole situation before I even get to the mic to sing. You know, um, fear of of uh, you know, oh, they thought they were calling. They couldn't get this artist, so then they settled for me. Um, so things like that and fear is uh, in any circumstance um, really blocks our blessings and now I don't know if it's because of the longevity the blessings I've been able to have a friend of mine told me a few years ago he said you don't have to prove who you are to anybody and something about that finally resonated with me and so if I can encourage anybody to just not be afraid when God calls you when he tells you what to do when he instructs you how to do it listen to his voice and then fear not Amen, amen, and amen. Are there any, well, because we're running out of time here, and I know this is extremely busy, so I thank you for the time that you are giving me. Um, no, I want you. God, so the single, um, the, 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 the project is forthcoming. Uh, is there anything that you are, any collaborations? Is this just going to be you? Are your kids going to make more guest appearances or, <laughs> or more music? What's, what's the plan? What's in the works? You know, Anthony Brown and Group Therapy are actually singing uh, the vocals okay. on this song. A big shout out to them. They've been, uh, our ministries have been connected together. Literally, I can't believe the time has gone by. Uh, the last 10, 12 years, uh, they did the background vocals on uh, the Dream CD. was said, It Ain't Over Until God Says It's Over. Actually, Anthony Brown wrote that. So I'm always wow. collaborating with them. And then I have a few um, people that I would love to work with. I'm not quite sure if I if I would name them because I still have yet to ask them <laughs> to do something. But things are different now. You know, everybody's kind of making their own way, recording how they want to record and when they want to record. So I'm looking forward to even those opportunities. You know, the record companies aren't necessarily blocking opportunities for artists to work with each other. So I'm excited about this song. I want God. I want everybody to go out and get it. It's available everywhere, digitally and uh, Amazon and Google Google Play and iTunes and Spotify and Pandora, YouTube, everywhere that you can listen to music, stream music, or download music. This is I Want God, and I really want people to be blessed by it as well. Amen. 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 Uh, would you like to give a shout out to anybody uh, in Maryland, uh, your church, yeah. just folk? Yeah, you know, I go to the Bethel AME Church, I lead worship there. Shout out to my pastor, Pastor Claiborne. Just shout out to anybody that loves Jesus and anybody that's looking for Jesus. Um, somebody asked me the other day how I wanted to be remembered. And I was like, oh, Lord, have I gotten to that point yet? And I just said, it's just somebody who loves everybody. And that's my prayer. So shout out to everybody. I love you. Amen. I would have never figured that you were, you know, AME. I mean, I'm just, there's nothing wrong with AME. That don't, I'm not, let me say, put that out there. I just figured that, <laughs> you know, with... Maybe I thought maybe we were more Pentecostal or something like that, but uh, I don't know. So that's that's you excellent. Know, it's, a, it's all Jesus pointed. My my Amy Church actually has got a Pentecostal yeah. uh, flow to it. So I invite you if you're ever in Baltimore, come on over to the Bethel Amy Church in the city of Baltimore, right downtown, and you'll feel like you're in the uh, Pentecostal church. It's great. <laughs> well, so all the AMEs listening, see now one of your right. own, a bringer. You have her come to your to your to your music ministry and do what she does right. which is exalt right. the Lord hey listen I know you've got right. to go I thank you so so much for spending time with thank us you. before you go can you remind the listeners yet again where they can find your music and how they can find you sure I'm Moret Brown Clark and I'm on everything I'm on uh, Instagram and Twitter Moret B. Clark uh, Moret is spelled like Maurice but with the E-T-T-E on it I'm also on Facebook Moret Brown Clark and Moret Brown Clark T-O-O if you're interested in my radio show you can listen online at praisebaltimore.com if you're in Baltimore you can listen at praise 106.1 FM and make sure you grab the single again it's entitled I Want God and I really appreciate you for supporting me and playing it on your show and that's available everywhere but digital music is sold 
Amen. I was going to mention your radio show. I, I see you on Instagram jamming in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I was going to mention it. it. Yes. Thank you so much. And you have a blessed rest of the day, Moret Brown Clark. Thank you so much. You're listening to Real Gospel with the X-Man.